So, hello fellow folks and welcome back here at Artificial 79. Today we want to show you how we prepared benzonitrile from benzoic acid and weak ammonia solution. We came up with this catalyst-free reaction scheme where benzoic acid reacts with ammonia to generate ammonium benzoate, which later dehydrates to benzamide, which then further dehydrates to form almond smelling benzonitrile. There is no mechanism to so find. We came up with our own one. So um, benzoic acid, our acid um, can react with um, ammonia solution in water to form um, ammonium benzoate. With um, heat as a um, reaction condition, the salt can um, dissociate back into the free acid and the base. And then uh, we think a nucleophile um, attack could happen from the ammonia um, to the carbonyl, which generates a uh, um, tetrahedral um, intermediate, which uh, then after um, reforming of the uh, pi bond can kick out hydroxide, which uh, takes a proton from the ammonium species and uh, leaves by water, which uh, gives us benzamide. This exact dehydration works with thionyl chloride, which we didn't use. So that this is where the mechanism uh, comes, from, comes from. We have learned that peptide bonds in proteins are up to 40% 30, uh, in the sweater ionic form, where the oxygen is negatively charged and the nitrogen is positively charged. Um, just that you know. Benzamide, a pept which has a peptide bond, tautomerizes to the enolate form, which is stabilized by water. As you can see by the dots, the hydrogen is delta positive, the oxygen delta negative. Ammonia deprotonates the amide to yield an electronically neutral nitrogen. The still stabilized enolate takes a proton from water to become the enol. After another deprotonation from ammonia of the last hydrogen on the nitrogen, the binding electron pair eliminates hydroxide to form a cyanide group with a triple bond. Note that this exact mechanism is speculative. So to start off we prepared some um, benzoic acid by dissolving sodium benzoate in water and then adding um, diluted vinegar. Usually um, Benzoic acid has a lower pKa value than um, the 4.75 or 76 from acetic acid. So usually it's a stronger acid, but um, in this case we can use little uh, Le Chatelier's principle. If we um, could somehow take benzoic acid out of the equation, uh, which we can do because it is a solid and it can crash out, if only one gets protonated, we can shift the equilibrium um, towards the product. Although um, acetic acid is uh, usually a weaker acid than um, benzoic acid.
Here you can see how we boiled off um, the ammonia and water, the excess. When we removed almost all of the water, we still um, heated the flask up for a few hours um, to get dry ammonium benzoate. Yes. This is the ammonia garlic um, filtrate we collected, a uh, distillate we collected and um, as you can see it has no oil in it. If you see a solid uh, with a mold under uh, beneath it, underneath it, um, just poke it down so that everything can melt. By heating it to a melt, we drive off the water to um, activate the dehydration, and we can also see some product coming off uh, over there, which is then the um, second, uh, yeah, the de uh, dehydration happening. But you will see that addition of um, ammonia garlic. Uh, distillate after uh, basically nothing comes over um, increases the yield drastically. After letting it yeah, boil for a few hours uh, molten in a molten state we always collected the oil um, that uh, we could uh, separate from the distillate and we put the distillate back into the um, back to room temperature flask to then heat it up again and again and again. At this point you can see that we are producing liters of our product. Um, let's joke, um, you will see it will get better. After all of the water um, is boiled off from the benzamide and it starts um, subliming you can see this um, yeah, beautiful um, snow-like effect <laughs>
So it literally took days to make this amount, so be patient. You can see that we got about 17 grams of crude benzonitrile. If you try to vacuum distill anything, remember to first put on the vacuum, uh, possibly greased joints, then turn on the stirring and then turn on the heating. <laughs> 